Okay guys, we just hit a few shots. Haven't hit any today and that's what I love about this golf swing, come on dead cold. And I haven't been in the device today, I'll go in tomorrow for about 40 minutes. I'm going to get some foam today and put it around that arm strap here and take away the sharp edges of the plastic. What are we, we've got a 5 iron? So we'll just, here guys, but it's basically here guys, I'm doing this. This is the golf swing. That's what it feels like here that's what it feels like it's a back slap wow 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 I mean, that's crazy stuff first shot of the day dead cold probably doesn't look any different tell you what it is demonstrably different in feel demonstrably just hit a bit this way now guys clearly you'll see in the golf swing now there's not a, as much restriction going through with the right arm or the left arm as you have when you're in the device because the device is to build as I keep saying ad nauseum the device is to build a feeling of extreme so that amount of extreme will sort of bleed itself into some normality it's exactly the same shape and guys, a couple of guys have said, okay, JH, you're saying that the ball flight is the same every time. It's a, it's a little draw. But what if you want to hit something else? Well, guys, it's the same, same principle as uh, with every, uh, when you want to fade the ball. Uh, for me, I just aim a little bit left and open the face a little bit. And I swing on the same, same body line and I just basically push fade the ball to the target. There's no cut spin on it, it's just a push fade. So that's all you do. You just don't, you just turn around a little bit, but you hit the same open club face and you'll get a little push fade. Simple, simple stuff. All right, see so if we can get a lot of back slap. I've got to tell you guys, and I keep saying it, and you must say, JH, we'll call you the repeater. But, you know, I've never hit balls like that. In my life I've never hit balls with the ease of that type of of ball flight it's so easy and you look up and it's just like you've got a picture you know like a reel in there that's, that's that, that shows a certain ball flight and you see it every time you look up and it's just there you can't nothing else happens it's always that ball flight I could never hit the ball that way Exactly the same flight. All right, now what, what you do in your own training, guys, is when you haven't got the belt on, you've got to say, I feel like I've got the belt on, and I'm going to hold that left arm in the same position as the right arm through the ball. Like that. See, that, that's the feeling I want in the golf swing. That's the actual feeling. Now, I can do that without the belt on because... I've done it with the belt on, I know what the feeling is. So you've got to do a few of those without the belt on. There it is guys. Now that's without the belt but that's exactly the same. <laughs> Such a good shot. That's exactly the same principle as with the belt on. That's exactly the same. Same golf swing. Just a couple this way. Uh. Let's 
It's like re watching a rerun of a movie, guys. It's the same ball flight. Now what I'll do here is I'll really take this back and I'll hit back here a long way. And now I'll get some super strike on it. <clears throat> There it is, guys. Look at that. Gee, that's good ball flight. Okay, if you guys have never drawn the ball, this will be quite an experience. For guys who like to fade the ball, uh, you just do what, what I said to do. But a lot of people fade the ball because of their action. Not because they want to, because they've always had that action that fades the ball. But if you've got this action, it's basically a draw action. All right, we'll have a lot of throwback on this one, a lot of slap. And guys, the swing is dead cold. Now that's really clamped. I'm not a clamper, but that's a clamp shot. I'm always a sweeper, but that's just clamped so much. That divot's like, you know, six inches after the golf ball. Okay, really gonna back slap it here. Oh, guys, that's so good. Just one over the camera. See how the arm's over here, guys? A little more this way. All right, now we're warmed up. Watch this, I'll, I'll be, I'll have the back slap with the low hands. There it is, guys. Look at the low hands. Huh? <clears throat> While we're here, guys, we'll do a club test. This is a new Bridgestone JGR driver. It's not adjustable. Slightly softer shaft standard. But man, is it a weapon. And what I said about Having the back slap with the driver, you feel like you're there forever. Nice looking club, beautiful graphics. Call it reach back. Guys, this club, just as an aside, this has got the highest ball speed I've ever felt off a golf club. Ever. That new Shrixon's good, which is my club. But this thing's got... Oh, it feels like the old uh, spring face drivers. Feels like that. I'll just have to turn around a little bit. We'll hit one this way. And this is really early back. Angle will be awful here, but we've got to do it. All right, I'll uh, just uh, draw this grip. Yep. 
and guys I'll hit this one with uh, with the training belt um, low hand through the bull but with the with the uh, slap back now the grip is really really have the only problem with 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 you know with a lot of the new clubs they've just got you know I play with cords and when it's hot and because my hands sweat a bit and that's why I have cords but that's um I had to try and grip that on the way down it was really tough still went dead straight but it came out of my hand and these grips are very very slippery all right so it'll be low hands There it is guys, there's the hook back. There's the hook back, look at this. That's the hook back finish here. I say hook back, it's here. Here. And it's slap back, slap, slap, slap back. Or back slap, here. So we back slap it there, and we hook back it here. You've got to hit a few shots without the belt on, with that feeling. It is so hot, even now it's like 11 o'clock in the morning and it's just, whew. It's going to be brutal here this year guys in uh, Australia, absolutely brutal. Go okay, watch this, this is going to be slap back and hook back. Flat back, hook back. Just as a feeling. Just as a feeling. Keep reinforcing it in there. Now you'll see in the actual swing, I'll put a normal swing on it. A normal uh, Da Vinci code with the, with the softball attachment here. And it won't look as convoluted as that. There it is, guys. If you want to run the ball with the driver, this is the golf swing. Boy, it runs the ball. Because it gives that little turnover draw. And clearly the, uh, the attack angle is shallow because the, the tee is staying in the ground most of the time. There it is, guys. That's that's the golf swing. Wow. Gee, this is good. Man, this is really fast. Off. Go and try one, guys. Bridgestone JGR. This really oh, off the face. Quick, quick, quick. All right. Just hit a couple of little um little wedge shots. Just hit one over the camera. With slap back and hook back. Slap back, hook back. Frankly, I'm going to pitch the ball on the golf course like that. I'm just going to pitch it like that because that's such a good action. It's just extraordinary. Slap back, hook back. a couple this way a couple little just you know 80 yard wedges there it is guys there it is wow see that's that's going about one 115 metre carry with that little slap back hook back.
That's what it is, guys. Couple this way. This is just for training. Slap back, hook back. Slap back, hook back. Yes, good shot. I can't wait to try this on the golf course. Slap back, hook back. Who would ever say to release a wedge that fast? Or that early. I'll release this back here. That's a feeling. There it is, guys. I, I, it's it's starting to fry my brain now. It is so good, just so good. Just did a couple little shots to the to the uh, green here with a little. Slap back, hook back. I don't know if you'll, um, if you can see it, I'll just try and hit it between those two flags. Right between them, look at that. And you couldn't get any more right between than that. Look at that. That's called flagging it, guys. Just hit it between those two flags. Same shot every time. And there's so much juice on that, I've got to tell you. Really a lot of juice on that shot. And guys, I said before, if nothing else, this will improve your pitching uh, of the ball unbelievably. That's to that flag, there's about you know, 45. And it's just a stunning little goal shot. the same shot every time look in the same place if there was a channel on the green there they'd run down that channel and guys this is not trick photography this is real deal stuff you just step up here and you do it you know why you do it do it and why that happens because this system is almost infallible you can't use the word infallible in a golf swing well you couldn't have here to fall but you can now because this swing will do exactly the same every time if you apply it the same and, that, and you'll say, oh, you, but that's the same with every golf swing, JH. It is, but this one is easier to mechanically apply. It really is, because there's hardly any variation in plane change. Look, every shot's landing in exactly the same... They are landing in probably a one foot square in terms of the place they're landing. See, in, in, see what happens? You don't miss shots. You don't miss them. You can't miss them because this is happening. We're firing this golf club. When you fire the golf club, you can't miss the ball and you can't hit it badly because you, the club is going to the ball. Most bad shots, like most people that have trouble with pitching, and I had a guy here came in uh, during the week said oh, I'm having all sorts of fits with the uh, with pitching and he, and he was doing this guys he was going and he just hit it in the neck or he just hit it on I said why are you doing that so I'm just trying to keep the club down the line I said don't do that the swing circular it's not linear it's circular and all I got him to do guys and within two balls he had it. I just I got him away from the ball six times. I said, take the club to here with the toe open. Then I want you to stop your hand here and feel like the toe is closed by the time you get it to there. Like that. That type of swing. And guys, and honestly, the first shot he hit, you could see his face beam. He'd never seen that before. And he'd never felt that. And with no exaggeration, within ten minutes... He was pitching the ball almost as good as I do. Some of his good shots were exactly the same as mine. And here's a guy that's done that his whole life. 
I said, just do this. Keep this here and just do that. Don't let this travel. Because he was going. I said, the difference between your impact, uh, your swing, is a metre of travel that I don't have. I don't have any travel of my right... Uh, this never moves. Okay, guys, that's just an aside. Okay, just another another video. We'll just keep doing bits every day. Just as reinforcing, reinforcing, reinforcing. Okay, guys, have a look at that. Uh, we're really getting there. But uh, slap back and hook back. We've got to incorporate that. I'll just hit a little full sand iron. Like I, I normally only try and hit sand on the golf course. Maximum probably 75, 80 metres. I can hit it 100. But I don't want to. Right, but, so I'll hit this. I'll hit this 80 metres. The slap back, hook back. Well, I'll let you see it. I'll let you see it from this angle here. There it is. See, that's probably right on 78 to 80 metres. That's what it is. And, and uh, one of the guys on the forum said, oh yeah, people could look at me and I know they were thinking, oh, what a silly looking swing. Well, guy, that would, guys, that'd be fantastic to go and play some guys for money. And they see you practicing and you say, this guy's a pigeon, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll put the money on. And then you go around with that silly looking swing and you absolutely em empty their wallets. Wouldn't that be good fun? How good would that be? Okay, we'll just hit one over the camera. It's amazing that on some of the shots I get so much clamp on the ball and the club's going down through the dirt. I never get that. I usually just get a sweep. I never get, like guys take big divots. I never get divots, but that one was just a clamp. There's another one. See, it's just, there's so much hit on it. Okay, guys, just have a look at that and we'll keep doing bits every day. Bits and bits and bits. Reinforce, reinforce.